Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for being here today. How in the heck are you? Holy moly, all of a sudden it is March. How did we get here? And it's already time for me to film my second update for my Rolling Project Pan series of 2023. This update definitely surprised me. It came upon me really fast, which I guess makes sense since February is such a short month. But I still have some great progress to share with you. It might not be the most exciting update that you've ever seen from me, but an update all the same. And that just means I'll be a little bit closer to reaching my goal for the following updates to come. In this project, I'm always working on 10 items that I'm trying to finish up in most cases or use as much as possible. Sometimes I have a usage goal, but mainly I'm using this project as a means to get items used up and out of my collection. Hello. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Butter feels the same. And here comes the shaky tripod. Butter. Come here. <laughs> he leaks into my arms. I was just going to say, I don't want to dilly-dally too long. I want to get right into the update. But then this little fella came and interrupted. And you know, he will not be ignored. He will not. He's really like trying to climb me right now. That's his new thing. It's, he's like a little shoulder kitty and he just wants to perch on your shoulder almost like a parrot and it doesn't work very well since he weighs about 12 pounds and is a big hefty boy who's a hefty boy tell him tell him desperate for attention i need to get like a little baby bjorn for him so he can just be held all the time because that's when he's the happiest can i film my update you mind so I'll start with the item that's been in here the longest, and that is my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Sake. This item has been in the project since September of last year, and it was weighing 20.29 grams when I first rolled it in. So here's what it's been looking like over the past several months. Wow, gosh, I guess it's now been six months that I've been working on this lipstick, which is a lot longer than I originally anticipated this lipstick to take. But I have been making a slow and steady progress on it all the same. So here's what it looked like last month. It was weighing 18.79 grams. In the past month, I reached for it 15 times. Today it weighs 18.38 grams. So I used 0.41 grams of product. I've used it 54 times total while it's been in this project. And here's what it's looking like today. And as you may recall, this lipstick had a bit of an episode last month. But we have been able to make a good jump this is not working. I'm trying to hold my makeup on my lap, but he also wants to be on my lap. I wish you could see what he's doing. <laughs> you just see his paw. <laughs> oh my God, this cat. You may recall that this lipstick had a bit of an episode last month. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I have been able to continue to use it all the same. And on my little markings here, I was also able to make quite a significant jump from February down to March. And this is the end of the product. So I'm hopeful that I will have this empty next month. I'm really gonna try for that. My plan is to use this as a blush most days during the next month and really try and get a lot of product to use that way as well as continuing to wear it on the lips in these last few weeks of winter that we are going to get. So this one is staying in for at least one more month. Hopefully that's it. It might take two if I don't do my due diligence on this one, but I plan to and I plan to roll this out next month. Really looking forward to it because it's been in here for quite some time and I'm ready to start something fresh. The next item is this powder foundation. Again, not the one from Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Revolution powder foundation that has been repressed into this old compact. I brought this powder foundation into my project in October of last year. It was weighing 80.75 grams and it was looking like this. I've been using this as my main setting powder in conjunction with the concealer I'm panning as my main coverage. And I've been able to make steady progress using it that way. Here's what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 78.42 grams. In the past month, I used it 25 times, but it also broke. It was looking like this at the time that I had to repress it. I repressed it into this shape, which is not the best video. I apologize. And I used it 25 times during the past month. So today it's weighing 77.24 grams. So I've used 1.18 grams of product, give or take. I'm sure I lost some product during the repressing process. I've used it 87 times total during this project. And here's what it's looking like today. Probably looks pretty much the same. 
There might be a slight little pan showing where I repressed it, just where it was a little thinner in that area. I wasn't able to get a very flat result when I repressed this, and I honestly didn't try that hard. I did it in kind of a hurry and just wanted to get it done. Didn't really care that much how pretty it was, but all the same, it's there and I, it's functional. It's not going everywhere, and I, and I can get a good amount on my brush, seeing how it's right there in the center of the pan now. So really enjoying this product still. It's a great pot of foundation. I'll insert a picture here of what the compact looked like if you want to find it in store. With this amount of product left I'm hopeful that I will also have this item empty by next month I really hope so next month is going to be a good update I have a feeling next is the first and only nail polish I've ever tried to pan this is from Sally Hansen their miracle gel in the shade persuade I've had this in my project since November of last year and it was weighing 67.45 grams when I rolled it in I've had to add nail polish remover to this two different times to thin it out and just make it a little less clumpy on the nail and that's been working just fine for me and we are getting so close to having this finished here's what it was looking like last month it was weighing 63.0 seven grams i reached for it four times in the past month three manicures and one pedicure maybe two manicures and two pedicures i forget but today it's weighing 61.96 grams i've used 1.11 grams of product 18 uses total while it's been in this project and here's what it looks like today and i was able to make a jump from this marking last month down to this marking so we have a very small amount of product still left there on the bottom i am unsure how much i'll even be able to use this item i'm going to use it as much as i can in the next month and see where we're at but i wouldn't be surprised if this is the last month for this nail polish it's just getting more and more gloopy more and more difficult to work with i kind of have to tilt the bottle to get a good coat onto the brush that then will give me a good coat onto my nails. And I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to make that work. So I'll give it every try that I can until I'm not able to get a good manicure or pedicure anymore. And then I will roll this out and I'm hopeful that that will also be in the next month. So stay tuned for that. Maybe the third rollout in our next update. I'm getting ahead of myself, but subscribe so you don't miss it because it's going to be a lot more exciting than this one i promise you <laughs> of course i have that on my nails today and i need to repaint it this next item has also been in since november of last year and it is the satin lips from mary Kay. this like old school lip exfoliator from mary Kay. this was weighing 9.93 grams when i brought it in in november here's what it's been looking like over the past several months it's been a slow and steady progress on this, taking quite a bit longer than I anticipated it would. But I reached for such a small amount of product when I use it that I shouldn't be that surprised. Here is what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 5.72 grams and I just could not believe that it was still not empty. I thought that I would maybe get five more uses out of it, maybe eight or nine, and then have it completely emptied. It actually took me 15 more uses to completely empty this. Here's what it's looking like today. It is finally... As empty as it's gonna get i didn't open it up with scissors to get every single speck of product in there but i could not squeeze out another drop i tried my darndest it's weighing 4.75 grams today so i used 0.97 grams that was the remaining product that i could get out and now it is completely empty after those 15 uses so i'm surprised i even had 15 more uses in it, but again, I shouldn't be that surprised. <laughs> I was even reaching for this like twice a day, morning and night, because I was feeling adamant that this had to be emptied by this update, and thank goodness it is. So in total, I used up 5.18 grams of product, over 79 uses. And I'm happy to put this one in the garbage and say goodbye to it. The next item is the concealer that I'm panning. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I love this concealer. It's been a great joy to use on a daily basis. And I've been using this as my main coverage in conjunction with that powder foundation. So I brought this in in December of last year. It was weighing 64.82 grams. This has actually been going quite quickly, I think because of the way that I'm using it. I don't use like a ton of product, but because I'm using it in other areas of my face, not just under my eyes, it's going a little bit faster than I thought it would. I didn't make any marks on here, but I do know that it started right around here at the contour word, just below the C, like right where the bottom of the C is. And then it went down to the, I think the like retouch area, if I remember correctly. And then last month it was down at like just below the corrector word right there. Where I see it now, I kind of see it resting right here. Just at this very bottom of that R, the bottom R where it says, I don't know, it has a word in another language. Rectify. So right about there. So that means it's getting so, so low. 
and it's getting close. I am so excited about this. I am starting to see like a little windowing when I move the wand. You can see a window there. Look, see, see, it's there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling loopy today. When I first brought this in, it was weighing 64.82 grams. Last month it was weighing 60.08 grams. I used it 24 times in the last month. Today it weighs 58.14 grams, so I've used 1.94 grams of product, almost two grams, and I've used it 79 grams total. This started at almost 65 grams, and now it's at 58. So seven grams I've used in about three months. So I think that in another maybe two months, I should have this empty. That is my hope. I'm sure there's a ton of product in here on the sides and at the bottom that I can't reach with that doe foot. And I fully intend to pull that stopper out and get every last drop of this concealer out. That'll be so satisfying. I can't wait for the day of having an empty packaging to share with all of you. But that day is not today and this item will continue to stay in. This next item is from my Tartiste Pro To Go palette and it's the matte bronzer shade in there called Sculpt. I just brought this item into the project in January of this year, so not long at all. It was weighing 260.61 grams and it was looking like this. Last month it weighed 260 grams and looked like this. I used it only 11 times in the past month, which is a little disappointing. I've been spreading my love over too many bronzer type things. Today it's weighing 259.94 grams. So I've used 0.51 grams of product in the past month and I've used it 30 times since bringing it into the project and here's what it's looking like today. And I hope you'll be able to see that the pan is just a little bit deeper, not a lot. Again, 11 uses is not quite what I would like it to be. I'm gonna try and really go gung-ho on this thing in the next month so I have more progress to share with you. I've had comments from multiple people that think that they see pan in this item, but I promise you it is nowhere near pan. I think you're seeing maybe like a little sparkle reflection or something like that. There's definitely glitter flecks that get into this from the highlight shades that are next door. So wouldn't be surprised if you're seeing a little bit of a sparkle there, but I promise you there is no pan to share. And when there is, you will be the first one to know. I mean, other than my husband and my very supportive friend who it's like the only friend who watches my YouTube videos. Thank you, friend. You know who you are. But um, I promise you, there's no pan in here. None to share yet. Hopefully soon. But we ain't going to get there with only 11 uses in a month. So this is my promise to all of you that I'm really going to try and focus in on this shade. At least get 20 uses on it before the next update. And hopefully have more satisfying products to share with you soon. Next item is my long haul item for the year. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. I just rolled this in in January. My goal for this item is definitely not to use up this entire palette, but just to see how much progress I can make, hopefully at least hitting pan in each of these four shades. Here's what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 91.78 grams. I used it 25 times in the past month. Today it's weighing 91.42 grams. So I used up 0.36 grams of product. I used it 49 times total. And here's what it's looking like today. Can you see any difference? I don't know that you can. I've used it 25 times. Blush, man, you know? It's blush and it's also spreading my love across four different blushes. I'm probably closest to pan in this shade here. This one being a close second. I'm starting to see a little bit of a dip going on that blush that wasn't there before. So hopefully I'll pan on that one soon, but this one is definitely gonna be slow going. I might get a little frustrated at some point, but I'm gonna keep persisting. This is kind of like a fun blush experiment for me. I wanna give this some solid love over the next year, see what I can do on it, and then probably move it out of my collection just to make way for newer formulas, new shades, and try something new. I've been on a low buy for such a long time that my inventory is feeling a little bit stale, so I wanna get as much use on it as I can so that I won't feel bad about bringing new things in maybe in the next year. But I'm continuing on this low buy trajectory, at least for the next year. And it's just fun to continue to see what kind of progress I can make in my inventory and on items that are quite neglected otherwise. And I really do love this palette, which is why I selected it for this project. This palette will work for almost any makeup look I'm going to do. And I especially love mixing them. This one is so pretty by itself. It has such a natural, just like sun-kissed effect. And really all of these shades just work beautifully on me. So that's why I chose it for this project. I don't mind reaching for it every day. I haven't gotten bored of it yet. And it always has something that suits my needs. But I can guarantee you this will be in for the remainder of the year. Next item is a lippy pencil. This is from ColourPop. This is their shade Contempo. I love this shade. I have it on as a liner today, but it is topped with that lipstick sake. But here it is in the swatch. Really pretty, just like dusty rose color. Perfect for the winter time. Perfect for any cool toned look. I love a pink. I can wear a pink anytime. 
I bought this Lippy Pencil in in January. It was weighing 6.42 grams and was looking like this. Last month, it was weighing 5.84 grams. We'd already made a significant jump on it. And this month, I used it 15 times, and today it's weighing 5.09 grams, so I used 0.75 grams of product, and I've used it 28 times total, and here's what it's looking like today. And I was able to sharpen this, I think, at least two times during this past month, maybe even three, and there has been a significant difference in the length of this pencil. So I have also my little markings here in my book. It was all the way up here in January. Here's where it was last month in February, and we were able to make even a bigger jump this month all the way down to here for the month of March. So I think we've made, I don't know, at least like a third of the product has been used up in these past two months, which bodes very well. I'm hoping that in the next maybe three, maybe four months, I can get this item used up completely. This will be a beautiful shade to wear for the spring. I'll have no problem reaching for it. And I'm hoping to have even a bigger jump than I had this month for you next month since we do have three more days in the month to work with. Next item is also a lippy pencil from ColourPop. This is their red shade Bossy. And this is kind of like my little challenge for the year. I'm not trying to use this one up completely. There it is right there, very pretty blue toned red. But I would like to challenge myself to use this 60 times during the year or five times each month. Here's what it was looking like when I first brought it in in January. It was weighing 6.73 grams. I used it only three times in the first month, and it was looking like this, weighing 6.64 grams. And this month, I did a little bit better. I used it four times. Today, it's weighing 6.35 grams, so I used 0.29 grams of product, and I've now used it seven times total. And here's what it's looking like today. I sharpened this one time during the month, so we do have a little bit of a difference in my measurements. Here it is on my book, so the top peak there is where it was in January. I just kind of dulled down the nub a little bit in February, and then I was able to make a more significant change when I sharpened it for this update for March. So I'm hoping to have even a bigger update on that next time. I am carrying over any uses I don't get in a month to the next month, so my goal was to reach for this seven times this month only got to four, so that means I'm still three behind. I should be at 10 uses now, and I'm only at seven. Again, I'm gonna carry those over to the next month, and my goal will be to reach for this item eight times in the month of March, which sounds really steep, but I'm trying to be more brave, wear more red. That's the whole point of having this item in this project, is to push me to wearing something I don't always reach for. And I love a red lip, I really do. A classic winged eye and a red lip is one of my all-time favorite makeup looks, and I need to wear it more. So this is a great reminder to do so. I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to catch up on those uses and be on target with my next update. This item was rolled in just last month, and it's a little mini hair care item. This is from Sexy Hair. It's their Healthy Sexy Hair line, and this is their Soy Renewal Cream Oil. This is like a nourishing blow dry cream, essentially. Here is what this was looking like last month when I had first rolled it in. It was weighing 29.55 grams. I reached for this three times during the past month, so every time I blow dried my hair. Today it's weighing 21.18 grams, so I used 8.37 grams of product in those three uses, and here's what it's looking like today. And you can see we have quite a skinny little tube there, it's so nice to see, but there still is just a little bit of product remaining right there at the bottom. One use, maybe one and a half or two, and this will be empty. So this is another thing that I will definitely be rolling out in the next update. So happy I brought it in. It does have quite a nice effect for my blowouts. It doesn't feel heavy. My hair feels shiny. It feels soft. And I'm happy with the product. However, I was looking for this item on Ulta so I could link it in my description box, which I always do for any item that I'm talking about on my channel. But this, I could not find. So I don't know if they even still make this or maybe they changed the name or maybe I'm blind. It's probably that one. But if you have bought this, if you've tried it, let me know if this is something that they still have in store. Um, I'll look again, but I couldn't see it. But anyways, I like it. I like it a lot and a blow dry cream is an essential for me at least. It definitely helps my blowouts just to last a little bit longer, to be nice and smooth and just protect my hair and just add some nourishment to my hair while I'm, you know, abusing it with heat. Finally, the last item I have to update you on was also rolled in just last month, and this is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Nude Honey. So I panned one of these last year, didn't love it, 
and I'm doing it to myself again. But this one is a better color. It has been easier for me to use and I haven't been having as much trouble with it. So here's what it was looking like last month. It was weighing 11.25 grams. During the past month, I reached for this 19 times. That's 19 days, not each time I applied it. So I applied it multiple times on at least 19 days. Today it weighs 9.86 grams and it's looking like this. I used 1.39 grams of product in those 19 uses and already I am starting to see a depression on that tube and starting to move the product up towards the front and this is going to be a slow and steady one. I can guarantee it's going to take longer than you and I might think, but it's an easy kind of no-brainer gloss that I can just throw in my purse, reach for it as needed. I can put it over almost any lip color. It's not the most hydrating or plumping, I would say, but it does add a nice little shine and it's fine. And I'm excited to just have it empty. So that one is staying in. Of course, get used to her. Hopefully we'll have some steady progression on that and it won't take quite as long as I think it might. So those are all of my items. I will not be rolling in any new items this month, even though I do have that one empty from the Mary Kay lip mask. And that is because I rolled in this lip cream as like a predecessor to this one rolling out. This gloss was the replacement for this lip mask. I rolled this one out unofficially last month and brought this in because I knew this wouldn't take me the whole month to finish and I wanted something else to focus on. So all that to say, this is now officially out and this is rolling in in its place and we have a month of progress to share on it already. So there you have it, everybody. That is my Project Pan update. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I was all over the place. I don't know. I'm just like feeling a little loopy today. There's just a lot to do, a lot in my mind. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, but I'm good. I'm thriving. I feel like there's just a lot of unknown in my life, a lot of impending change, um, a lot of things that have already changed that I'm still kind of adjusting to. It's all good, positive stuff, but it just makes keeping up with YouTube a little bit more tricky sometimes. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be here for all of my crazy wackadoo updates with all of my different project pans. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let the YouTube algorithm know that you liked it and leave me a comment down below and let me know that you liked it. Just say hi. It means a lot to me or just let me know how your panning journey is going. How are you doing? How's the year treating you so far? I feel like things are bubbling. Things are coming. They're good things, but it's like that calm before the storm where you just like feel like you know something's coming and you're kind of bracing yourself for it and you're just not sure where the ride's going to take you. But in the end, it's going to be okay, right? You're going to get where you need to go and it's all going to work out the way it's supposed to. With that, I hope you are doing really well and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!